Set it up. Hey, welcome back to another episode of the CP Podcast. I'm your host, CP, and it's the CP Podcast. It's the podcast where we talk about the shit CP want to talk about. And uh, it's my motherfucking birthday, so you don't hear the shit I'm talking about. You don't get the fuck on today. What up, though? Hey, CP, how you doing? Good, good. Now, on my on, on the screen to my right, who is getting to be at the crib, so do we get a Roman? Do we get, like, a Roman sighting? Are we he just went Roman? for a walk. Oh, man. <laughs> you saw him, though. No. You know he exists. I saw him. I saw him. So, all right, well, we got uh, Maya, the... The mother known to Roman, no, it's not, uh, in the building. And then we got a mirror, man, with some nice uh, festive uh, colors on, man. What's up with you, man? Are you in love? <laughs> a mirror in love. What's going on with you, man? You got some blue on. What you I doing, man? Color coordinating, you know. This is a NASCAR shirt, so I got to wear a little bit of blue. I feel that. I feel that. Water. And also, uh, today's episode is brought to you by, of course, Nico Kitchen Shop, man, our favorite, our favorite, absolute favorite, uh, sea moss and um, sea moss gummies, gel, applesauce, all that kind of stuff. And also, we are doing something special for, for my birthday. So everybody who places an order today and uses my promo code CP Send Me, we send y'all some free sea moss gummies, two weeks supply. Wow, free sea moss gummies, and you get fifteen percent off your order. All right, that's how good it is, man. Like we got to get this to the people, man. Like you know what I'm saying, you know. They could take your money away. They could take your erection away, and you should be able to have that in your energy. Like that's that that you know that's for you. Take advantage. Take advantage. You go get the shop dot com. EPC means fifteen percent off. Answer free coming. What's up with the audio? I think it's trying to echo cancel kind of thing. What's going on with it? It sounds better now. Let me see if I talk. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. Anyway, Amir fix that quick. Yeah, he did. Amir don't play, man. Amir going Best Buy and rewire all that shit. Like, man, give me, take all these damn flat screens. All right, so uh, a lot of shit has been going on. We had like a pretty eventful week. First of all, did you see those aliens in uh, Mexico? The new bodies, the ones that's like folded up, and they did. The I have not. And they saw the bones. I yeah, I didn't see any of that either. The new ones. The new ones. Different than those other ones, they kind of look similar, but they're like different. Let me see. I have not seen that. Tiffany Alexandria, thank you. Still waters. This is this is this this is a special live. I mean, usually this is all on the Patreon. See, I don't see this until the podcast come out. But since it's my birthday, we all in here. I mean, hopefully this will make y'all want to join the Patreon so you start being you know a part of the conversation. If not, fuck you. <laughs> what you sipping on, CB? Man, you know I don't drink, man, but God damn it, went by the pool, got one of these margarita, daiquiri, whatever the fucks, and I had some champagne this morning. I kind of, I've been, I've been fucked up all day, speaking to people. I've been nice as hell today. Hey. Fuck it. I got this uh, Popeye's ah! mango lemonade, bro. Mm. That shit is fire. It's really good. I didn't it's really good. I'm having it was last week, and I was like, wow, it's very sweet though. Very um Popeye's gonna have to give us some money, bro. Because we be eating the shit out of Popeye's <laughs> and talking about it on the podcast. Wait, is this I'm gonna put something up? Is this what you're talking about? Let me see. Hmm. There we go. There we go. No, hell no. Nah. Okay. Ah, that little flea market shit. No. Nah. These was like they was going through an MRI machine. They were doing an MRI on it right there, so they were seeing the bone structure. It had like a like a skeleton, and it was different from the ones that before. Mm-hmm. Different from those, yeah. Okay. Mache, uh, they were almost like in like a uh, in like a sitting in like an Indian position type of deal. Okay. No disrespect to the Indian people, but y'all know how y'all be sitting. Don't do this. It's crisscross applesauce now. Crisscross applesauce. There you go. Yeah, that's how I learned it. <laughs> Oh, for real? Yeah. They still let's see Indian style. So that's fucked up, man. Yeah, they crisscross applesauce by the time I got the elementary school. Maya, were you in school in NHA Indian style ever? They told us Indian style. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I don't want to sound racist. But, yeah. yeah. It could. We went to school in different places. I went to school in Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Where'd you go to school, Amir? Uh, around that time, that was Virginia for me. So... Okay, okay. But it's different time too. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got yeah. years. I got a few years on you. Even when I just like, they had to like read like, scenes. Oh yeah, well they just recently did that. I'm, I'm just saying though, like it's a new time. You know, it should take time. You feel me? Yeah. It, they be, they be having that in racism shit on their helmets. Like, bro, this is not helping. <laughs> not at all. You got a team called the damn Redskins. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, they, they go. Name. Yeah, they, they did. Commanders, which, commanders which, yeah. is, which is which is you know. No, that's not bad. I guess I I don't, don't want to talk shit about America. But it's my birthday, man. I'm a little twisted, man. I might say some shit about America, man. I don't want to say nothing about America. America's school. Hey, we're unless, all Americans. Unless you're black. <laughs> then it's like, you know, it's all right. Sometimes. So, Juneteenth, February. Yeah, we have our moments. You know what I'm saying? Where, where, where it's cool. It used to be like, what was it? Everybody get hyped for uh, BT Awards. That's a June, too. Oh, BT Awards in June? Yeah. The Hip Hop Awards is in October, usually. But the regular yeah. award used to be a, a whole thing. Like, and then the NAACP awards just happened. Yeah, and that that looked crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I never like that. Like it looked good. Like it was. Yeah, it did. Look stacked. Like, it actually it looked kind of like elegant. All we need is one of them award shows to like be like our legit one, and we we'll all just gravitate to that and do do all the awards through that. They gave Usher an award. They was giving actors awards. So, like that could just be like you know what I'm saying like you know the 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 Negro Awards. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just for, it, for all intents and purposes, if we had our own shit, you feel me? NAACP, that'd be hard. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, fuck it. We just got to accept that and like it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas win the NAACP award, don't even go pick it up. You go like, nah, treat that like it's a Grammy. I think that might be what people are doing. Wait, I'm going to put something up. Is this what you're thinking of? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, really nobody saw it. It was like they were they're like blue. The color of them is like blue. Hold on, I'm see if I can find it real quick. And then yeah. I'll send it over to you. But it was like uh send us my email. All right, bet. Hold on. Hey, I haven't seen anything, no updates on that. Yeah, yeah. I have. I'm telling you. Because I've been was... I've been looking out. I haven't seen anything like this, but I'm not on TikTok like that. So speaking of TikTok, y'all think they gonna ban it for real or that's what they talking about, huh? The pack pretty quick in the house, so we'll see. It'd be so really I, the it. I mean you say why not? I was saying it, it'd, be, it'd be stupid for them to do it, but why would it be dumb for them to do it though? though? Obviously, they know they don't know. Nah, the, the blowback for that would be a lot worse on people than it than they think. They don't they don't know anything. They just don't like that TikTok is helping people organize. In a specific it's because it's owned by the Chinese. That's what they I mean, okay, like, it's not doing anything that they claim it's doing. The apps that we use today, like Facebook, Instagram, those are the ones that have been spying on us, which we had already claimed had hurt the election in 2016. And now we're supposed to be like, everything is supposed to be regulated through those same guys. I don't, I don't that. But you can't have the Chinese doing it because they do want to undermine us. That's not a myth. Like they have uh one second. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. This one. I'm about to send this to uh Maya's email. This one of them. So this is what their government put out. They put this out a few years ago. It's called Unrestricted Warfare. And it's this is basically a translation of their plan yeah. to go to war with the United States. They Ooh. can't China. This oh, is by okay. the CCP. This is by their generals. And they're not gonna face us outright. Maybe they'll try, but I mean that would really give them a bloody nose. It might be the end of them. But they're gonna do everything else. And they put it in writing, and we know. That, that this is their plan. So, so what are you talking about? Are you, are you saying like stuff like like the coronavirus, like types of like uh, biological warfare, types of like um, frequency warfare, weather control? Are you talking about mind control? Like you know, like with like stuff like TikTok. With you that, know, yeah, yeah, TikTok definitely. That that's a given. TikTok is the easiest and most obvious one they can do. Psyops. Really. Of course. 
Like you got you got to think about it. There's a lot of people who want to bring us down for good reason for them. Like from their perspective, obviously not from my perspective, but from their perspective, we are keeping them at, at best. You could say at best we are keeping them in a cage. You know, at worst we, we didn't are. We do shit to them. We didn't do nothing to them. They need they need to man listen. <laughs> Uh, we made we we did karate kid. We had two, three of them bitches. We we do stuff for them. No, and it's that's true, but okay. in their perspective, you know, we are being abusive. We're and we're just the we're just the world um, leaders, so they want to bring us echoing? down. Is is it echoing for everybody or or, or am I tripping? My oh, ear sounds a little echoey. Is it yeah. playing somewhere? No. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah. yeah. So to think that China would not use TikTok to undermine us is just, I, I call that naive. They're going to try, and just like the Russians are going to try. Like, the, why would you face the United States head on? You can't beat us militarily, but we can tear each other apart, and we're doing it. So why not help? Bro, we keep saying that. Is, is our military that cold? I keep, it's, like, put it like this. They keep talking about it. It sounds like somebody who, you know how when you don't want to fight, you be like, I swear to God, I'll air this bitch out. <laughs> if I want to fuck with me, I swear to God. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, and then them be the main ones, get their ass knocked out, be be on the floor with, with the stiff arms. It's like, bro, are we, like, listen, most of the shit that I know technologically, the most advanced stuff is not coming out of America. And these wars are being fought with technology. Where's the equipment for the equipment for the equipment, right? So, like, where's the mirror for the laser being sourced from? Where's the, where's, you know what I'm saying? Where's the, um, you know, the the plutonium coming from? It's like, if we need stuff from them, then they can make whatever we got. Plus, people who selling weapons to both sides of the war exist. Uh, that is true. A lot of our best uh, technology is coming out of Taiwan, and that's why we're trying to protect them as much as possible. It's coming out of a few block mm -hmm. region in Taiwan, and that's where our uh, chip processors, microchips are coming from. And Biden is trying to bring that back to the United States, and the factories are getting built, but it's going to take a little while. I don't think they're up and running yet. So for right now, we have to protect Taiwan, and it is very, very dumb that we allowed the best technology to come out of this tiny little island off the coast of China. We kind of put ourselves in a really bad right. situation. And that and that brings me to my next point. Like everything that we really like is coming out of China. At Taiwan. No, 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 no. Taiwan for the war shit. And of course, Taiwan is playing a part in the microchips. But I'm talking about straight up the shit that we, you know, the PlayStation is coming from Japan. Um, Japan, Xbox. Japan, yeah. Japan and China are not the same. Uh, I know they're not. I know they're not. But what I'm yeah. saying is like over there, over in, over from the east, that is not, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. like, they, like they could really like starve us out. We, what are we sending over there? What, like, what, is, what are the top 10 American exports? Things that come from here that we provide to the world. Let's hear what this stupid shit is. It's probably like bacon. Um, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, hot Cheetos, and that probably come from Mexico. We, we we can't even claim fucking hot Cheetos. It's probably like uh, what else do we sell out this bitch that everybody got to come get? <laughs> Somebody said just porn. You feel me? Like we really don't have a lot of. <laughs> oh, that you know that I, I don't I don't know if that's true. Actually, we um... yeah, yeah I I agree I agree because a, a lot of that Japanese blurred out shit do be lit. But I don't even know if that comes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We the best in that no more. Okay, so I'm trusting this site because I have to do this very quickly. So it says our top 10 exports are machinery and equipment, electrical machinery and electronics, vehicles and automotive parts, mineral fuels and oil, aircraft and aerospace products, agricultural products, medical and pharmaceutical products, plastics and plastic products, organic chemicals, and gems and precious metals. So basically, we got a bunch of uh, ham, no burger, Kool-Aid, no sugar, peanut butter, no jelly. We, we just sell a bunch of pieces of shit. I mean, that's how the whole economy works, though. Uh, no, but, well, no well, it's, true. How, it's true. It's true. Everything is... That's how our economy works. No, that, like, the whole world else? is global. 
so, everyone so, so, puts so, so, in a little piece from here and there. It's all dependent yeah, on this okay. very uh, interconnected web that could go down at any minute. The yeah, truth is actually that's scarier that's than what you what you think. That makes sense. Damn, chaos theory. Uh, uh CV, your mic went up. peace, right? None of that shit. Are oh, you back? You back? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, it just like stopped and then it just came back. Oh, who has the most important piece? Right? It's like all that machinery shit. Like, oh, you go to China, they can almost reproduce anything. Like, they just be making fake. They make a fake yo car. That's true. It's not as good though. It's really not, and their their chips well, aren't as good. It don't good. have to be. I got you. Their chips aren't as good. So, well, so our the, chips are better. Uh, the chips That's that we shit. have with our allies. So our allies include Taiwan and Japan, South Korea. So those are our allies uh, in Asia, and we have the best stuff. But you know, that won't last is, for long. Well, yeah, it might. Last long. Well, why wouldn't it? I mean, it won't last if if the United or if the Taiwan goes out. But this doom and gloom over the United States, it, it's very premature. Because between, no, I'm not the, saying it's like doom and gloom. I'm just saying to, to nobody's going to stay at the top. Like if you're talking tech stuff, they're not going to. America's not at the top anyway. We're already out. It's like we say, we're outsourcing our stuff. But we keep trying to block China from doing shit, and they keep being like, okay fine and then you give them a couple years and they're already on the same level There's they steal our shit they steal it and that's why biden basically said but that's what they know for yeah but that biden uh, actually came down really really hard on this and he was like you can either keep working in china or you can keep your citizenship choose one and he basically was as hard on china as trump was man somebody a trip joe biden and he will die he get up that podium he could trip yourself on one shoestring his ass would be how do I? It'd be a little video. <laughs> It'd be a little video of my time. The good times. We'd be like, oh, damn, yo. You know what I'm saying? One step. The bottom step. You can make it all the way down the flight. One step. Bam. That made us laugh. Gone. He can't now, train nobody, man. <laughs> and here's the thing which bothers me. And I have a question. I'm not saying I believe one thing or other. Do you think Biden is actually president? Like functionally president? Of this country you think he's running this country no i think that no president is actually functionally running this country since the presidents that they had to kill and they realized that we have to just put people who are the face in this spot we can't trust them with the intel that they could go off and not be president anymore and then still have like like imagine if okay like we can we can like uh delegitimize what ryan garcia is out here saying right he's mm -hmm. a fucking boxer He's a he's a he's a he's an internet um, viral sensation boxer who I don't want no smoke with. But at the same time, he's a celebrity who people could take what he's saying as true. We don't know because we don't know what he's seen. Have being that rich, having that much access, etc. But what if a president decided, a past president decided to whistleblow like that? Well, That's Kennedy? all it would take. Huh? Did Kennedy? Well, I mean, is that what he was planning on doing? Uh, he was uh, he was not friends with the CIA and he was planning on doing a lot of things that would have upset the CIA's plans in the early 60s. Mm -hmm. Just to let people know, Ryan Garcia is a boxer and he recently came out with a few videos and basically said, I went to these ceremonies. Uh, everything that they're saying is true. There's um, rituals. Uh, and, and so raping forth. and killing kids. Yeah. So that that's what he said. He said he witnessed it firsthand. Mm -hmm. We don't know one way or the other because he could have been hit in the head. He could have all, all of these things. But nevertheless, he came out on video and said that's what he saw. But guess what? Let Obama say that it's a wrap. If Obama come out right now, I'd be like, fellow Americans. Aliens exist. There is no God. Stop going to church. Nigga, church will be empty this week. Empty. It'd be two grannies per church. He be dead too. <laughs> I might as well go ahead and finish out with the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well. I might as well. I'm just saying, yeah, he'll be dead too, bro. But him, put it like this, Amir. They can't do as much damage to his life as they can to as he can do with that one statement. True. Got a little ripple effect. No, it's bigger than a ripple effect because of the peace that he is. 
right? Because we we associate him with having the knowledge of being the leader of the free world at one point. Mm-hmm. And if he were if, if he were to come out and say what Ryan Garcia is saying, people would start going crazy. It's all about the messenger. So to that point, I don't think that any past president since the presidents that they've had to kill have really been privy to what's really going on. Because you hear about, you know, different presidents having a hard time accepting what the agenda was. You hear about that a lot, actually. Yeah, I mean, and this is just conspiracy. It's not what I necessarily believe. But there was rumors that um, even Lincoln was assassinated by this Illuminati force. I mean, you know, freeing the slaves, you know, put it like this. And you just you just proved my point, Maya. Let's say that they did assassinate Abraham Lincoln because he freed the slaves. Right. And I'm just being hypothetical because, of course, that's a way bigger political play than it just having to be just him. And I understand that. But let's just let's just simplify it. He freed the slaves. So they killed him. Right. They didn't want him to free the slaves. The slaves is free. The damage is done. You understand what I'm saying? Like you could kill him. That's what you know. That's that's that that's the murder, I guess, of it. You could kill him, but the damage is done. Like you know, he could sacrifice his life, which he did to do what he did theoretically, but you can't go back on it. And so there's power in that knowledge because they can't they can't take your statement away from you. they could they could they could do you like Martin Luther King, right? kill mm-hmm. you and then be smirch your name he could have had a cigarette with two white bitches over his the course of it, but the story that's told is he was this and that of course they're going to do that they got to water down his message and he's not here to defend himself mm-hmm. that would have been that would have been a great scandal to drop while he was alive to to delegitimize the message you understand what i'm saying but no yeah. they didn't do that they tried they waited for the no, nah, they didn't do it like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit wasn't hitting the newspaper. My grandma ain't know about no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was not public knowledge. Like, like, like well, how we know what's going on with Dwayne Wade family. How we know what's going on with, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't public knowledge like that. Like, it would have been. Right? It's like, you know, there. you have to sometimes look at what the message was, how dangerous it was to get that message out, and then watch how they besmirch those names. See, the way they can do assassinations or whatever um, is not even to do it themselves. It's just to flood flood the public with all this messaging and wait for a crazy person to take it on themselves, um, which may have been what happened to King. Was, the official story is that's what happened to King, is they flooded, uh, not they, but a person, a lone gunman, decided to do it on his own. Now, if you are conspiratorial, you would say that they flooded the airwaves with all this messaging, waiting for a crazy person because, you know, 200 million people at the time in the United States, 300 plus million today, 360 or whatever. If one of those people are crazy, you just have to keep putting it out, putting it out and wait for something bad to happen. So, Maya, you do understand that it's not just that Martin Luther King was shot, right? He didn't die on the scene. As I understand it, he was let to die in the hospital by people who barged in and was told, basically pulling doctors off of him to let him die. Oh, that's we don't interesting. Hear, yeah, we don't hear that part. Yeah, it, it, they say that initially he didn't die from the gunshot. It was more like uh, bleeding out. <clears throat> And they let it happen at the hospital. Like, like, like they stopped resuscitation. And I mean, you know, you might not even see it in text. I'm telling you what I've been told by people who I trust. Ah. Uh, you know okay. You got to understand that it's, it's different truths on different levels. And people, some people know different shit. And more yeah. like the, uh, if you look, um, you know, other people in his family were killed. I believe his his mom was killed. His mom um, was killed, but that was by a Hebrew Israelite. That was yeah. uh, that was a, a crazy person who yeah. had taken this messaging from the Hebrew Israelites and worked its way through his head and decided that he would uh, be violent with it. Now, I yeah, have it. a lot of people who hate me from the Hebrew Israelites, but I will say that they are not a violent group. Right, and so that don't even sound right. You you just told yourself the story that they told you, and then 
gave yourself. It's, it's like that. That's not even how they get down, right? But it's like it's so many. No, that's a, it's official that that happened. That, that they arrested right. him. It's, a, it's official because they arrested him. But of, of course, they, that that's that that's the bigger play. No, right? he, like how, no, no, no. CP, he shot her in the church. <laughs> it was yeah, like it's very public. Everybody knows. I mean, how convenient though. How convenient that is that is that is that is that is Martin Luther King's mom, right? And it is it, he, it, bro. It's just like, well, it's because because she's Christian and you know that's like a slave religion, and so it got into his head. He was a crazy person. There are crazy people. They exist, right? But they got you. It is crazy people, and, and they got you out here making excuses for them, and 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 using them as a scape. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like I just I that's that is what was documented. Is that a Hebrew but she wasn't Israelite the only one who died. felt crazy, right? But it's just like sometimes. I mean, it's just I don't. I'm I'm not a believer in what they tell me at all because they lie about everything so much. But something as important as this, for something who they for somebody who they absolutely have the maximum disdain for and wanted to, you know, it's just like I don't know. I don't know about that. Just like I don't. Some some ain't, don't ain't right about. Um. Uh, 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 and Malcolm X's grandson burning down his house and killing his grandmother. That never sat right with me. It's like, what? Mm. what? You ever hear truth is stranger than fiction? Yeah, but you also hear that sometimes the best, the best possible explanation is a lie. Because sometimes it's just some shit is, you know what I'm saying? Like, the best possible way to explain it be a lie. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. Yeah, it's just, you know, Hebrew Israelite came and shot Martin Luther King's mom because Christian is a slave. It's like, bruh, I don't believe that. So we could just move on because it's like so shit like you, that is. I mean, I get what you're saying, but then on the flip side, then who do you believe killed Malcolm X? Because then that would probably make you be like, what the fuck? But what you mean? Like uh, Malcolm X's was a little different, right? So like, um, how can I say this? Malcolm X, it's a difference between being for everybody and then just being for the black race. And I think that corruption is what killed Malcolm X, in my opinion, within in a particular organization that he was um, heavily invested in at one point. And I think that for reasons that are not, that all tie into what this bigger agenda secret thing is, but we have no idea. But I do think that that was a more of a, what you would want to refer to as an in-house situation than um, what Martin was dealing with. If that makes sense to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just some stuff is just like, mm, this government is so tricky that they're good at making you forget that they're not this benevolent force that has our back for real. They can do what they want to do. And they, and if they feel like people are rising up, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I don't know. And I mean, rise. I mean, like, people have the ability to stir the pot in the community in a way that's going to be, um, make them have to work harder to get the pot back the way that they want it. You can be eliminated. I think in their heyday, maybe the CIA was doing a lot more. But I think one of the really uncomfortable truths that may be a truth, uh, something that we have to acknowledge right now, is maybe this secret government isn't as powerful as they have people believe. And really, we are very, very, very close from chaos, and it's all just people being stupid. Have you heard the idea that our government and the real government, the ones who are really running shit, um, are a victim of their own arrogance, right? They didn't want to let anybody new into that syndicate, and they're all super duper duper old and out of touch. That's why, like, you see a lot more money in young people's hands now. It's like they can't control it anymore. They, they can't control, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like the whole world is different now from the 50s 
when 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 men was going to work with them lunch boxes and I mean like everything is fucking out of control and, and it's like I just doubt that the government our government wants the country to be like this I think that they're just too old like Joe Biden and them to really understand how to really make real change and other governments that are attacking us have younger leaders yeah I don't uh I don't think that's a conspiracy one. We see that our, our leaders are very old um, and mm. whether they refuse to step aside because they want to hold on to power or they just don't think the next generation is ready. That's what Bill Maher says. I'm not sure. Now, the thing about the countries that are attacking us, our biggest rivals, um, China is under Xi Jinping. He's also very old and he doesn't get any information. So they're actually holding on by a hair as well. And then we see where Russia is at under Putin. Recent elections also not able to get information as he needs it. So when we think that there's this big international conspiracy, unless there's like a cabal of people, you know, sitting behind a curtain that we don't know about, what we're seeing is our current order, the current world order, holding on by a threat. But the reason why is because you ever you ever meet a um, a rich person's kid who becomes a young adult and that person has been so rich and so influential and so busy that they haven't really had time to really spend time and raise their kid. And these kids be bad as hell, but have mm -hmm. a lot of power. Mm -hmm. Like that's what the world feels. It feels like a bunch of rich ass teenagers grew up with no supervision who had all the money and all the influence. And that's how you got shit like fire Island and shit. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And certain things that just didn't used to happen before this kind of new dumbass Game Boy generation kind of became 50 year olds. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, that's unfortunate. And I think it's true. I think uh, you know, what you said is absolutely right. I actually think that unfortunately, nobody is really in control of this because, you know, even mm -hmm. even Steve Jobs died of cancer. Like there's nothing to save his life. When death comes for you, it comes for you. And all of the money in the world can't stop it. So these people may have thought they were more powerful than they really are. And now, yada, 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 we're in 2024. And, you know, we're about to hit that season of Game of Thrones where all the adults have died. Maybe we already hit it. Maybe mm -hmm. all the adults yeah. are dead. We, are, we need to. We need to um, just shut all the lights off in the White House and have a big ass haunted house. And scare the shit out of all them old niggas and fuck their hearts up and then turn the lights back on and whoever make it out of round one <laughs> have some like uh what's nigga we should put them through the squid games oh my we should god do squid games for them old niggas that'd be <laughs> fucking hilarious there none of them could stop in green light red light they all got parkinson's and shit like red light <laughs> <laughs> the ancient Egyptians used to do a really funny thing is that um, for the Jubilee, so for their pharaoh, after 30 years, they made him run this uh, laps. They made him run basically like laps around this. That's not an obstacle course. It's, it's, we would think of it as like a track. So everyone would gather yeah. around and they would see if the pharaoh was still virile and able to rule. And he'd have to put on this animal skin and run these laps. And there's this guy who's called Pepe II. Um, King Pepe the second. And he was old, old. He was super old and he could not run those laps. And not, I'm not saying it's related to this, but that was at the beginning of their dark age, the ancient Egyptian dark ages. So people were looking, you know, they're like, we're looking to Joe Biden and being like, yo, everything's all messed up. Please say you can rule us. And he runs these laps. Can't do it. Everyone's like, I don't think he can handle this. And then all of a sudden dark ages. Mm. Yeah. So maybe we can have him run laps. I mean, that's true. That's you know damn well Biden can't run no laps. He couldn't he even stay on the damn bike. <laughs> he should do some suicides up to the free throw line. <laughs> <laughs> you said he couldn't do what? <laughs> run next to the bike? He couldn't stay on the bike. Remember he tried to get he then he stopped and then he like just yeah. froze and he fell. Like, yeah, he froze and he fell, bro. He is terrible, man. I don't think like four more man, years under that guy. I ain't gonna lie, man. Man, when I tell you, if Donald Trump catch that nigga in the elevator by a nigga, he'll beat the shit out of Joe Biden, like uh, like Salons and Jay Z. 
You think you think Donald Trump can run laps though? I don't know who wins in a fight. I didn't say run laps. I, ain't, I didn't say never run laps. But you put them niggas in a fucking Black Panther in the water style one of these and see who wins, nigga. Donald Trump will beat the shit out of Joe Biden. And I'm not even saying I'm a Donald Trump nigga, but Donald Trump will get with that nigga for sure. I don't know. And I saw do an interview. Him. <laughs> you, you he say tried what? to go down those that slope one time. He couldn't figure out going down that slope one time. And he's older now. I think he's had surgery. Ooh. That's why he looks better. Donald Trump. He Remember he tried did. to walk down that slope? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah, basically yeah, I mean, allowed, slopes is tricky, though. I ain't gonna hold you yeah. Life support in 2020. He said it. But he got sick, oh, yeah, man. He had to fly. They had to fly his ass up out of there and shit. He got sick. He, I mean, bro, you're in your 70s, bro. Like, you can't just get I feel sick. You. I it's feel not you. regular anymore. But nigga, one slap and Joe Biden gonna have an ear infection, and then he did. <laughs> so Donald Trump is Donald Trump is seventy seven years old. Yeah, Joe Biden is one hundred and seventy seven. Joe Biden is eighty one. They only four Ugh. years. Oh, they was in high school at the same time. Joe Biden must been on that shit. <sighs> Barack Obama is sixty two. He could still do it. When it, where what what's the youngest president we've ever had? This shit was crazy. it Obama or Clinton? It's not Obama, I don't think. Was it Clinton? Oh. Say what? They were was saying it like the youngest Clinton president. What? It was a uh, you know the, the president thing is like you can you can run for president at thirty five. Ain't nobody even been close to thirty five that ever made it in office. Ain't no way okay. In hell. okay, the youngest president uh, was Theodore Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt, at forty two. Yeah. Let's well, that, well, the oldest was Joe Biden. Yeah, oldest Joe and Biden. the oldest was Joe Biden. God damn it! He didn't, but Roosevelt didn't get elected though. He got sworn in after an assassination. Yeah. So who got elected? Youngest elected president. Oh, was it Kennedy? Kennedy? The youngest man elected to the office. Yep. Thirty-five. No, no, no. He was the 35th 35th. president. Yeah, he he wasn't. I knew that. 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 The 10 youngest presidents. Here we go. My guy, Obama. We got to do a slideshow for this. I'm not doing a slideshow. Obama was uh, very young. Uh, The difference from you look like from what he looked like when he first got in to when he got out was crazy. Oh, yeah. Garth. Hopefully that was him and that ain't clone that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grant was young. Grant had already won the Civil War by then. Wow. I thought he was old. I mean, people just look old back then. Yeah, they did look, look old. Crazy. He looked like he, he looked mean as hell. Bill Clinton. Kennedy. 40. Oh, there we 42. go. Well, he well. So well, Rosa, he was sworn in, so it was Kennedy. In, so it's Kennedy, technically, was the youngest elected. And he was Kennedy, 40. And yeah. then Clinton was 46. And then Grant, and then Obama. Grant was army years, though, so he was probably like 60. Grant was like, he used to civil, uh, civil put that war. tobacco in his lip. <laughs> put that tobacco in his lip. Ugh, those. I tell you what, we're gonna get down there. We're gonna get them. Yes, what he did like, and he was in a crack down. Oh, he he took down the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, he looked stressed out. He won the Civil War for the right. Union. Yeah, he he he's a Civil War general. Yeah, he a G. That's my name. What you mean? He, he go crazy. Him, that's the only. <laughs> anyway. a, they teach you about so many of them. When I was growing up in Virginia, that's like all we knew because every every war was damn near fought in Virginia until the Civil War. Civil War ended in Virginia, in my hometown. Mm-hmm. So oh it did every yeah it, it ended in Petersburg, right? Right where I was born. Like all of that shit is still there. Like they have all the churches and the history. And that was brutal. I love studying the Civil War, but I'm glad I didn't live through it. <laughs> oh no. Absolutely not. Hello? Yeah. Can y'all hear me? Yeah my headphones fucking up. How did how did how did that war end? The Union won. The they pretty Union much overwhelmed him, and they he had to surrender. They surrendered yeah. at the uh, Appomattox Courthouse. Mm. Uh, they they finally got Robert E. Lee as that's really 
So it was Robert E. Lee versus Grant. And they and just it, now changed the names of the schools, too. Because my mom definitely went to uh, Robert... I think it's elementary school out there. Robert E. Lee. There's a bunch of... Uh, Jefferson Davis, which was the uh, Confederate general. He's also the leader of the KKK, I believe. That whole route was named after him. It was the U.S. Highway 1. was named uh, Jefferson Davis Highway. 301. 301, my bad. 1 and 301. Jefferson Davis Highway. And then he had Stonewall, uh, Stonewall Tail. That's in Atlanta. They got that, too. But... Yeah, they had a uh, they had a statue of him out there in Richmond. They took that shit down, and yeah, I, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, cool. how, how do you how you feel about that though? Like, I mean, I get it that the, he he didn't like my people, right? Yeah, I don't think there's an you um, know the a, a monument. It's history when you though. Look at it, when you look at a statue, you kind of think like, uh. You know, what kind of way do you look at somebody when they get a statue? Like, they did something. Usually, it's like you think they did something good. You know what I'm saying? Or s- something worthy of a statue. You know what I'm saying? True. So it's not I like when, you take this, it down, it's, when they take it down, it's not like they're removing the history that happened behind it or anything like that. Like, right. when people see that statue, and they're also, not even thinking like, oh, it's just it's Stonewall Tell. What did he do? And then it's some bullshit because they glamorize. They're going to say the nice thing on the statue. They're not going to say, he did this, this, and this. It's like. And then he started the KKK, yeah, and lynched like a bunch of people. Yeah, but, like, but I'm just saying, right, right, right. But I'm saying it's like it's statues for all kind of shit, though. They got gargoyle statues. Like, bottom line is the nigga won. Here's the thing. Here's what I don't like. To y'all point, put the truth on there, right? He was he was a Klansman, very racist. He was taken down, whatever, whatever. But it's like, you know. I don't know. I guess I feel indifferent about it. Like, you know, I get that it's disrespectful to like the slaves, I guess, or to the people who was, you know what I'm saying, who they were hurting or something like that. But I mean, he did. They got his ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he'd much rather be alive than be a statue. But then a lot of them die of old age. Like they didn't die in the war. Or Stonewall did, but a lot of them uh, he got killed in the war, yeah. Yeah, Stonewall got, got, killed got killed in the, in the war. war. Lee Stonewall did. War. Lee, I don't think Lee did. No, they a lot of them lived to a ripe old age yeah, and captured. suffered no consequences. They suffered but they, very they, little they consequences. Captured. He surrendered. He had the, yeah, he, he, surrendered. he surrendered. They pretty much overwhelmed him because the the way the war went. They fought for a long time and then they were like, "All right, man, like y'all got it." <laughs> Essentially. They couldn't fight anymore. The, the South wasn't capable of taking on the North. And I'll I'm from the North and we are proud to have to have won that civil war. And that's drilled into us all through childhood. But I will give this to the South. They fought a very good war for what they had, but they got beat. So that, that's what like you can say things, about like, that. It was just the time. It was like the timing was right for shit to shift, essentially. So it was going to work in the North's mm-hmm. favor for the most part. Well, they, they, we had railroads. The North had railroads. The North had industrialization. The South was an agrarian community. Like it, it w- there were two different um, two different countries were fighting each other. And now it's shifted that now the South is very powerful because of the air conditioner and stuff like that. You have a lot of northerners have moved south. You have a lot of our technology and our mo- greatest minds are coming out of the South now. So, you know, stuff has shifted. But back in the day, the South wasn't going to win that war. Well. Yeah. I want to talk to y'all for a second about some shit. Switch okay. it up. So I recently had a conversation with a colleague of mine, just, you know, a comedy homeboy. But we call ourselves colleagues, too, because it's a job. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be, you know. And we were talking about time travel. Ooh. And one of the things that they talked about was how there were no slave ships, which was very interesting. I'm like, what? There were no slave ships because the big ships weren't invented till a certain year. But right. So follow me. I'm just I'm listening to his theory that there were no slave ships. There were no slave ships that haven't been found, quote unquote. Right. Even though I think they found the Mayflower, which I feel like. Yeah, there were. I want to hear the theory. I'll hear any theory. (laughs) People in the comments, let me know if if you have heard this theory about how there were no slave ships anyway. So the theory of time travel goes that these civilizations that disappeared, like how the Egyptian um, and the not the Incas, but the Mayans, they disappeared. Big um, like civilizations all gone. People have said that they think that. 
time travelers went back, took civilizations, and that is who we are descendants of as slave descendants, are people who they literally went and got from back in time, which is why a lot of civilizations don't exist anymore. I know it sounds crazy. It does sound and it's crazy. One of those, and, but, but, it, but it sounds so crazy that, it, that it's almost intriguing. Like, wait a minute. Like, because we're thinking, like, imagine going back and stealing the people who built the pyramids and using well, them to build the country or, build, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, I don't know. I, maybe you're not describing the theory correctly, but this doesn't make any sense to me. Because you took people away from a, a certain civilization and then put them like forward, it kind of changes however long well, that gap is in between. What would it change? What would it change though? Because a lot of civilizations vanished. They didn't well, they vanish. didn't necessarily they killed, vanish. So. Their, their DNA <laughs> yeah. is still no. uh, within some no, people. No, 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 no. The civilization, like, where did the Mayans go? Did they disperse? Because are we still finding the DNA from the ancients in some modern people? DNA is not like there should be a whole civilization, quote unquote, of them. Well, we've seen uh, we've seen civilizations fall like uh, the Easter Island. And we saw that fall from um, natural climate change kind of stuff. So we've seen the Easter Island grow and then collapse. Somebody said the Roanoke colony death got taken by aliens. Somebody being taken by aliens and people having time travel, the stuff that Hitler and them were working on, like to be able to go back. Like, look at the Philadelphia experiment. Like, they were doing shit that they didn't quite know what they were doing, but they had a lot of ground and a lot of time to cover to be able to get that shit right. Okay, so let me ask you this. If the Nazis had time travel, why didn't they win that war? Who to say that, that they didn't win the war? See, like, here's here's what you got to understand. Like, what do we know that the war to be won as? Like, like a lot of their scientists came over here. Like, because we needed them. Hitler got away, right? Quote, unquote. Um, uh, the official story, I'm not saying one thing or the other. I'm just letting you know the official story is Hitler committed suicide in a bunker with his uh, wife at the time, Ava Braun, and some followers. Now, there's people who say that he escaped, but we don't know. Mm. Um, yeah, there just, are people who say he escaped. There are also people who talk about that that uh, South American place with all the twins, that that geneticist. Ah, uh, boys from Brazil. We talked about that. Wait one second. Here's um, what they say: the Maya still exist in the present. More than six million Maya descendants live in modern Central America, where more than thirty languages stemming from ancient Mayan are still spoken. So nobody's looking for the Mayans or the Incas or none of these civilizations. Civilizations collapse. Like they collapse all the time. Um, the most yeah, they do example collapse. is And Rome. they also leave, they leave fossils. They leave certain things. And they, these things did not exist. Like we understand that civilizations can cease to exist, but they un they're, they, they've they been unalived and they are around. There's, right? parts, like, there's, there's artifacts saying, like, and stuff from Mayans and Aztecs and stuff like that. It's, it's out there. For absolutely. Sure. Yeah, if they got took by aliens, they wouldn't need the artifacts. They just need they <laughs> these builders, right? I what, like, like the theory what as a movie. In the first place? Pardon? I do too. I I do too. I agree with that. So I like I'm not it saying as a that movie I agree with the theory, yeah. but I do. I do like it as a movie to keep stealing civilizations. You know what like that, movie? Like that blew my mind. I'm like, I damn, saw... I never even thought about that. There's this movie called First Contact. It's on Shutter. It's the execution is not good, but the concept is amazing. So basically, this guy channels an interdimensional aliens, quote unquote, um, and they're supposed to be our ancestors mm -hmm. from thousands of years ago on the planet Earth. But what comes with them is this kind of demonic force as well. So it's like. Humans are making first yeah. contact, but they're also making first contact with a demonic force. I'm not going to ruin the ending for people, but it's on Shudder. It's called First Contact. Mm. Not to be confused with Star Trek mm. First Contact, where they go back in time 
and try to save the earth from the Borg. Got you. Hmm. I do like it as a movie, and I do think that it's something to <clears throat> like. Um, I just I keep circling back to this same concept of ancient civilizations making contact with something that's coming back to make contact with us very soon. Hmm. And I feel like every civilization has made contact with this stuff. Maybe ancient civilizations didn't keep um, contact a secret from the people. And maybe that's what these new civilizations have learned from about not to tell the people because shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, you know, like free energy and shit that we claim that ancient Egypt had and Cairo had and all these places where they were harnessing energy and doing things that maybe they don't do today because they figured something out or they saw a way that that civilization failed. Those people were able to get too smart and there was too much power equally distributed where it was like, maybe that was a problem. Okay. So I don't know if this is directly related, but could this have something to do with angels? Um, I mean, maybe it what, depends on what you think, what you think angels are. I don't know. What do you I think mean, angels are? Do you think they're trying to help us? I think they're interdimensional. I think that um, people hate when you say that because of it, it kind of denotes the spirituality of it, right? But I think that the spirit realm uh, is, is another word for a dimension. And I think that there is a battle going on in a dimension that we can't see, quote unquote, if, if this is true. And these beings are making that fight. You know As what I'm saying? Like, so like, below. So what does that mean? Uh, uh, Hermes Trismegistus, the Emerald Tab, as above, so is so below. So this is what it's supposed to mean. So that whatever's going on in the higher dimensions get filters gets filtered through to our dimension. So when we're having conflict and chaos here, it's because we're sensing conflict and chaos in a higher dimension. Now, oh, that makes yeah. sense. That uh, also because because it also makes sense why so there's such a pattern with every hundred years things going on. Right. Because I think time moves differently in other dimensions. And so what we smart people can recognize as a pattern, you know what I'm saying? Like it might be something deeper to that because like you see a lot of like pandemic in 1920, pandemic in 2020, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like war this, you know, like there's been a lot of like parallels like that where you can kind of see patterns happen. The fourth turning. Did we talk about the fourth turning? I don't think so. Not on this part. So the fourth turning is this theory, uh, basically that you get four generations. So that's called a seculum. So that's 80 years. And so mm -hmm. you get um, a chaos period and then a generation will come and fix it and set <clears throat> order. And then because like you were saying, the kids are spoiled, these kids are spoiled. And then, so they don't know how to mm -hmm. maintain the order. The grandparents who set the order die. And now we're, at the time where we're at right now, when there's no adults left and nobody even thinks that they should be setting order, it, we're at another chaos period. And so the timing for this is every 80 to 100 years, four generations. Right. Okay. Did you see that Sphinx that I sent you? I saw it. I mean, let me and pull you this. Shot, and then you shot it down crazy. And it's <laughs> like, the thing is, what makes the the Sphinx and 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 the the Great Pyramids of Giza special is that this is you think that they're kind of like the only you know what I'm saying like they're like marble. I just want everybody to know that I don't just shoot CP's theories down on the podcast, but I also shoot them down in real life. That's what he's talking about because I'm a mean person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. <laughs> this is this was this is on IG like, like hey, might check this out. False. You gotta stop being so gullible. I'm like, you know what, dog? All right, man. <laughs> I'm gonna try to send this to myself so I can I can pull this up uh, here. Hey, why she doing that? Look at these new Cheetos I found. I might be late because I don't be eating shit like this, but it's my birthday, so I'm fucking everything up. Look at this. Mexican street corn Cheetos. I've never seen no shit like this. I can't. Have you seen these in here? Nah, I don't be looking for Cheetos either, though. So I don't know. I could be late. But yeah, yeah I've never seen them before. Nigga, but I said, I'm like, damn. 
test their ass, man. Tangy, spicy, and seasoned. So I'm going to try those out. I'm going to try to know how they are. Also, the uh, the the theory your boy was talking about, the the slave ships existed, bro. I don't know why people think they don't. It's it's wild to me. Let's say let's say it again. I thought they existed too. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know that it was a thing where they didn't exist. But like it's it's like a, a strong community that feels like slave ships never existed. Um, I, I think a lot of slave ships existed. And they're yeah, finding I'm them. talking about existed, existed at the time where, let me see. There's all these uh, slave ships. After a while, they stopped trading ships. Like the, the ships stopped coming. It wasn't like a continuous thing. It happened for a while. And then once they're over here, they started trading amongst the people, like regionally. Right. So I get it. And it wasn't but like I'm saying the is, first ship came and it was just straight. Everything just the ships came and they all went to America. Like Really, they were down in the Caribbean and down in South America and uh, I believe Virginia. And those things happened with that. And then they started trading between those people. And then that Check was out. the end of that. Check it out, though. I might be butchering his theory, right? Because it's not mine. It's something that he brought to me. So I might be butchering the theory about why there were no slave ships. But there is something. When did slavery start? Because I, I thought it was 400 years ago. That's when it started ago. forever uh, ago. Yeah. It's a, we, if, we, if you're talking about the Atlantic slave trade, I believe Atlantic it was, the, was the, specific. The, yeah, 14, 1500s. Right. And so, as soon yeah, as they found slaves, Africa. So yeah. What are these slave ships doing pulling up in the 1800s then? They okay, weren't. Well, okay, so the, just, they, they, like, they the last ones were at the, I believe, at the right. Was that what you were showing, my The last ones? Yeah, were, those uh, slave ships. So basically, there was slavery for all of human history. And then the, the British uh, ended slavery and enforced it with their navies. So, and that was around the 1830s, where it was like no more trading slaves because you can't fight the British Navy. Uh, go back to the, uh, the what does that say, Clo Clotita? The Clotita? last. So this one was? 1860. Yeah. A schooner, so it wasn't as big. Uh, but basically the, the, British, the British said no. And so we had to, um, I'll keep that so up. To, can you, can you have say, go to some of the earlier ones. Show me some of the earlier slave ships. And let's see those years. I mean, this, these are, this is just a random list that Google has shown me. Right. But... I'm just saying, like, they should have, they should have, I mean, as much knowledge as they can possibly have, right? Yeah. I mean, we have, we have uh, the logs of these books. This was, this was like they were, this was like they had stock, you know, like right now we have, we have cargo vessels that bring cargo to them. It was just cargo. So they kept all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And so after the British ended slavery, then the slaves uh, reproduced in the United States. So they, it was a domestic stock of slaves, mm. which is also incredibly messed up. Right. So the thing is that, <clears throat> Just from here's my thing. That's the 1564. Mm -hmm. Because what I've been told to understand is that there, there was, this is ancient Egypt. Have you ever heard that? Mm. Explain. Well, there's a lot of like um, movement from like the Pangaea type shit, but like there's a lot of ancient Egyptian artifacts found in say the uh, Grand Canyon that is like closed off from the can from the from the public, and for that to be so far west into the intercontinental United States and it'd be like you know like church doors and stuff. Is my audio messed up? I can't hear you. No, I think it's thing cut out again. Oh. Story about coming to get these particular people from Africa is a way to trick them off and realizing that this is some of our land too and not something that we were just brought to. We only caught the like end part of that because they're uh the the mic tripped up a little bit. Okay. No, they so they were saying that basically. Black folks were already here, and that um, the story of all of us coming from Africa 
is a way to kind of trick us off of understanding that this is our land in a way that we don't really understand it is. That's interesting. Uh, Smithsonian agrees with you. There are uh, artifacts in the Grand Canyon. I don't know if it's what you said it is, but nevertheless, there is a link. Right. I mean, well, you know, of course, I wouldn't know verbatim because I haven't been down there, but just trying to uncover the question around it, like, what is the link between the Grand Canyon and ancient Egypt? And why is that there's so Oh. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. It's just... yeah. yeah, it's going in and out. There are hieroglyphics inside the Grand Canyon. Nobody can explain that. So now this guy says no. This guy says it's a it's a hoax. Who is this guy? Alex. Yeah, Alex Orlando. Alex, Alex says Alex wrong. Orlando. But the but the but the Smithsonian, right? But you, so you just find anybody who says no. The Smithsonian says yes, but Alex says absolutely not. I'm gonna have to look at the, the thing Smithsonian's is, video. The, the the other thing is like I feel like we get a really attached on e Egypt, and it's cool. Because Egyptian history is is cool as hell, but truthfully, we would have never came from Egypt off a boat anyway. Because where Egypt is, it's not going to happen. Like that's right, but that's what I'm not, trying to, but I think our lineage wouldn't say is that, there anyway. Right, I think that, but the fact that there's ancient Egyptian artifacts here, it would say that there were people from Egypt here before there was a slave ship, before it was because Nevada. Or wherever the Grand Canyon is, I think it's in, in uh, uh, where's, where's the Grand Canyon? Arizona. Is it in Arizona? Yeah. Okay. Arizona had nothing to do with, with the 13 colonies. Had nothing to do with slavery in Africa. And it wasn't even really all the way discovered in a part of America for a later time than what we're talking about. So it's like, what is the link between the Grand Canyon having hieroglyphics and artifacts and all the way in Egypt having the same thing? Of course, they whitewashed themselves out to the West, took over America and erased that history. So this I IFL Science, who's a, that's a reputable site, says that it was also a hoax. Well, that's what's up. I'm just saying that like it really benefits them for it to be a hoax. It doesn't I, benefit anybody else for it to be a hoax. I truly do not believe black people were in the in America before the slave trade. Because mm. that feels like you're just wiping away an entire lineage of indigenous people who were already here, which we mm -hmm. can absolutely trace that back. That's would, absolutely, and, 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 and you think that they're they're incapable of this because of what? Incapable of what? Wiping out a whole existence of people and acting like they never existed. No, he's saying your theory or your friend's theory, not your theory, but your friend's theory wipes out right. all of but the I'm indigenous saying, history. But but why would it not, though? Because it's like it's not that, like their indigenous history is not black people. It's like, yeah, there were Native Americans. Right. But it's like there were also like even some of them were like darker, like black people. And it was it, it was other shit going on that it's just like it just it, I think that it behooves this country for the black American to not understand where they come from for real, because we're getting taken advantage of. Well, this is how I feel. And on I top of that, I mean, I if you look at the depth of what slavery was, like we're not, we're not a as African as we may think we are because we have blended different groups of people. We can't pinpoint to one that. part where it comes from. Cause we started right, trading right. and we was like, Oh, some people have a lot of, you know, Caribbean blood in them. Some people have, indigenous blood and some people have this country from africa in this country from africa or south american because that's where the blending started happening when we got over here so tracing it back is not going to be as clear cut as that and there's no and i'm not saying like i'm my lineage doesn't trace back to africa or anything like that or there's something wrong with that there's not i just want people to be completely honest about like the death that the shit was really a part of instead of being like no nah, we were here first and it's like but we don't have any real claims to say that like, where, where are these, you know, these things that people want to say? I understand why. It is frustrating to be like, I can't trace back to where I belong. But that doesn't mean step on where somebody else was already at. Mm, I see what you mean. Right, I'm not ashamed thing, of though. being descended of a slave. I definitely see what you're saying. 
a lot but, of people but, are Roma. I guess a lot of here. people. Are. I am not ashamed of being descended by a slave at all. The Romans were descended from slaves, and they conquered the whole world. They killed their masters and conquered the whole world. Now, when we think of civilization, we think of Roman civilization. You see that movie, The First King? That's their beginning, beginning. They were slaves. No shame whatsoever being descended from a slave. I hope my ancestors are proud of me. I mean, you think they're proud of you for building up this country that enslaved them and making this country the richest country, country in the world and making the people who enslaved them ancestors I mean, and, and, and predecessors rich as fuck while you are doing a podcast with me? <laughs> it's like, you could have been doing this shit in, I mean, you could have been doing this shit in, you, you could have been doing this shit in Africa. Africa could have been all of our minds and our mind power and everything that we have to offer the world, we could have offered it there. They don't know what they stole because we will never get the chance to tell that story. But who? But we didn't do that. Is what I'm saying. We just are. A, we are a reflection of the right. people who survived. What the hell happened? There are, I, I know, understand that. But what that I'm saying is like. Boat. So it's like. But what I'm saying is like. I don't think that they're proud that we didn't go back home, or that we're still here. We can't speak for them. They would be happy that we're actually alive. So why can you speak for them? You to... say you hope they're proud for you. I hope they are. I, I hope. Right. I, I just, hope I win I, the lottery. I can't okay, say I'm no. gonna. Okay, it's I, just, that's, that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. That's technical, but I just think that it's like, uh, mm, like, um, and also, I don't know. I don't. Of, th- I don't think. I don't think that they love this country. I don't. Th- I don't think that they're as, they, they were as patriotic as we make. That's it seem. not true. Oh, that's think that anybody, is not true. A lot of them fought in the Civil War. A lot of them got out of slavery and immediately signed up for the Union Army. Immediately. A lot of people. A lot of people in prison work in the kitchen. Sometimes it's easier to get out your cell and do some other shit, whether they sit there all day and get shit on. It's like, you know, some niggas turn into trustees. That don't but mean they could have just like been free. The they could have just been free. They could have been like, slavery's over, I'm done. But they were like, right. nah, but I'm joining the well, Union Army and I'm going to go. It, it, but if they didn't do that, then it wasn't it a chance that slavery could follow them right up to the north and to the rest of the country and be a slave country for the rest of So then they had to fight. No, it wasn't the slave. The North wasn't going to become a slave territory. What was open for debate was whether the new Western states would be slave territories or not. They could have just gone to Canada and been like, I'm done with this country. But they didn't. They fought for the union. And even today, black people are overrepresented in the army and the armed forces. So there are black people who hate this country. That's true. But there is a lot of black people who are fighting really hard for this country. And there was also a lot of black people who were fighting because they didn't know where their families were at. And, mm-hmm. they, and, they, and, and, and they had the ability to fight and they were strong enough to fight. So they needed to fight to make sure that they could do their part to save people who was coming behind them. It's like sometimes, you know, you know, sometimes your message is going to kill you. And you just got to hope that the people who you died for understand why you did it. Yeah, you well, we, we might never know. Might never know, you know, because this shit is always the question and never the answers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect time to stop because uh, I'm about to go get drunk, man. Like, it's my birthday. <laughs> I'm about to go jump in this pool and shit. Like, I don't care. I do care, but I don't want to talk about this shit anymore because I'm finna get fucked up. Uh, hey, have I'm some drinks just... for me. Have some drinks. I can't no, drink anymore. I don't even drink. I don't even drink. Why, why you can't drink no more? Are you pregnant again? I'm breastfeeding. I can't get the baby oh, drunk. Oh. I was like, oh <laughs> shit. I know a bunch of drunk ass babies. Did Romy get back from his walk? Is he asleep? Do you want me to go grab him? I, I'll, I'll see. Him, man. We, need, we need to see Romy wrong. I say, is Rome in the house? Go <laughs> grab my dog, Romy. man. So I'm over here. Uh, Popeye's dropped a new flavor. This one's all right. What is so, it? What uh, is it? Honey lemon pepper. I feel like they could have done Ooh, it. That sound, that sound kind of crazy. It's pretty. It's It's like you know, it got a little spice in the in the actual wing itself, but it's yeah, all right. It's, like, it's sweet and spicy still. Oh man. Uh oh. He want to stay with dad. He like man. Somebody mad. What's up, Romy Rome? He get... He's he's hey. unhappy right now. I know he want to get drunk. He want to get drunk. <laughs> He said, Mama, get some champagne. <laughs> Wait, what was that? I said, he, he wants some champagne with Mommy. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, that's, look at this guy, man. 
Oh, he's yeah, getting, so big. Big. That's he's getting so big. Getting so big. He's kicking his legs. Oh, kicking. oh, there we go. There he go. He loves he, 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 See, he's he not even crying. He's doing a little fake cry that babies mm-hmm. always do. Mm-hmm. He doesn't like to hear himself. That's what it is. Wow, man. You know what, bro? what a what a what a beautiful baby, Maya. That is so Thank cool. You. That is so lie, cool. Maya, Tony's jeans kind of sneaking. I'm not gonna lie. What? I said Tony's jeans is sneaking up on him because he looked more like you when he was first born, but he's starting to look more like Tony now. He's yeah. Tony out. He Tony out for sure. Tony be walking down the street like y'all see him. <laughs> y'all see what I did. <laughs> y'all see what I did. I had a motherless baby. I did this. I did this in a tube. <laughs> no, he still looks like tube. me. He still looks like me. Baby, show him the side that looks like me. Yeah, I got it looked like I got the same nose for sure. He looked like Tony and Maya, not Maya and Tony. It's Tony then Maya. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Tony then Maya. He got <laughs> your lips and he got your lips. No, nah, he got your nose, I think. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And it seemed like the, the yeah. like his cheek, his like side profile on his cheek looks like Maya too. Around that area. But, but, but for sure, when he was first born, I was like, oh yeah, he had your eyes and everything. It's like they it's like it's changing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Slowly. But it's crazy. I probably I'd probably look at him tomorrow and be like, Man, he looks just like you. Like it, it'd be like that. I think it's I think it's the lighting. He looks exactly like me. You just can't see it right now. <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. As always, always the questions, never the answers. Uh, appreciate Maya and Amir for popping up on, on your boy's birthday, man. But uh, my wife waiting on me, so I'm gonna go get fucked up. So I'm gonna holler at y'all. <laughs> all right, man. Happy birthday. Peace. Happy birthday, right, man. CP. Thank you all, man. Thank you, guys. Peace. Bye.